Hi you guys, good afternoon. It's about 1 p.m. here today and I'm gonna be taking you guys throughout my weekend. So this is going to be a weekend in my life video. Um, I've woken up, I fed the cat, had coffee, breakfast, the essentials for me to get through the day. I did start my period this morning, so I was also kind of dealing with that. And ibuprofen did nothing. Um, like it's not really doing a whole lot, but I am grateful my cramps are, they're tolerable, it's okay. I have plans later with my friend Ari, but for now, really all I need to be dedicating the rest of my time to for the rest of the day is editing so i'm just going to change it to outfit and um we're gonna go to a starbucks to just edit i'm i literally have the camera this far back so you guys can see what i slept in it's so cute i thrifted this shirt and these shorts yesterday and i just feel like sleep clothes could never be more me so yes i wanted you guys to see what i slept in. Well, i'm gonna change and we're gonna go ahead and head out the door honestly everything else has already been done this morning all right guys so i just got to starbucks this one specifically i really like to edit at i typically edit at home but whenever i'm in a setting that's completely separated from the place where i just like to chill i tend to get a lot more done so i'm just gonna go ahead and set up my laptop and plug in everything i need to so we can get started i pay for parking for two hours so i think that's about as long as i'm gonna stay here and then i'm gonna head back to the house because i just want to do a couple things before i head over to ari's Packages and look how cute this poly mailer is. Alright, guys, I'm out of the shower, nice and moisturized. I'm about to just wash my face and pack a bag and make sure I have all my makeup and everything with me because I'm going to be getting ready over there. I'm using the Sony ZV-1 right now and it has a wide angle lens attachment on it because without it, it films the closest I've ever seen a camera film on your face, zoomed out. But it still feels so close up because I'm so used to the wide angle on my big camera. Today's video is partnered with Halera. Thank you guys so much for working with me. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the pieces that I personally picked out from them. I'm sure you guys have heard of Halera. I've heard of them long before I had the opportunity to work with them. I had always seen ads about Halera. And basically their goal is to just make good quality clothing at a more affordable price. And I can definitely attest to the quality of these items. For example, the outfit I'm wearing now, I would definitely wear it to the gym. But I wear Hilaric clothing as more loungewear for me personally. I actually wore this exact outfit when I was just in Charlotte to visit my family. Just super comfortable. Throw on clothing that feels like butter. It's amazing quality. So as far as the top I'm wearing currently, we'll start with that. So for the exact name, so I don't mess this up, this is the Cloudful Fabric Crossover Hem Cropped Sports Top. So as it says, this is a cropped shirt. I like this style of top and I like this one specifically because I feel like I can actually maneuver in it. It's form fitting, but it's stretchy. So I feel comfortable. Um, I have enough room in the sleeves and by crossover, they mean this little design down here, which I feel is very flattering. It's kind of hard to see because this top is black. 
but they kind of layer over each other and it's really cute. The back is just a crop top, but this does feel like active wear material, so it's super breathable. This is this is good as gets. Okay, like this is some good material. I got this shirt in a size medium. Everything I got was in a medium actually. I do think they're true to sizing. This was the perfect size for me. And then as far as my leggings, these are what the leggings look like for the exact name of these. These are the high-waisted side pocket shaping training leggings in the color hay brown. I love this color. This is what the back looks like. I'm normally not the biggest fan of leggings that have pockets. I feel like the execution isn't always the best, but I actually love how these pockets are so sleek to the leggings and you barely even notice them and they actually fit your phone. I have a max version of an iPhone, so it's bigger. And as you can see, it comfortably fits. I have the leggings folded down a little bit because I like a slightly lower rise, but they do go past the belly button if you would like, so you just feel very held in. These pants right here that I wanted to show you guys, First of all, I love this shade of green. It's so pretty and I feel like it's really, it just really complements your skin tone. These are the perfect loose balloony type of pants if you're just trying to chill, go run errands. I feel like you could dress these up as well, whatever you want to do, but I would wear these with a baggy tee or a jacket and call it a day. Like if I'm going to go do some editing at a coffee shop or if I'm just going to chill with friends, hang around the house, like honestly, I love the big pockets. The pockets, they are functional, but they look so nice. All right, so the next top that they sent me, this would be something that I would wear to the gym. This top is beautiful. It's so flattering for so many reasons. I love the way that the straps cross in the back. Not only that, but they have this whole crisscross design throughout the entirety of the top. Really flattering. It'd be really nice for back day. Or even if you're not working out, I feel like tops that show your back, it just looks so good. And another thing that I love is that the neckline of the shirt is straight across. I feel like it's super flattering. This does come with padding inside, but I typically just like to um, take that out. But you can always put it back. Okay, these pants right here, I've always been a fan of flare leggings. I've worn them forever. So I definitely had to have these when I saw them on the website. I also like when they're neutral colors, so I can wear them with anything, but they have so many color options to choose from with majority of their clothing. So the possibilities are endless. Yeah, so as you can see, they have the cross waistband up top, super flattering cut. These are high-waisted. You could choose to roll them down if you would like. The quality is unmatched. It's hard to describe and show you without you actually being here to feel it, but it's just so good. It's stretchy. It comes right back to its original state. If you guys are interested in any of the items that I just showed you, they were nice enough to give me a discount code, which is ASLEA20. You guys can shop on the website with that code and get 20% off any full price items. Thank you so much to Hilaro for working with me and let's go ahead and get back into the video. <laughs> nah, I'm literally getting in from this side because it's so embarrassing. The tank isn't even on this side. No wonder the people in the fucking truck were looking at me. Probably like, this bitch is dumb as fuck. I just got, I stopped at Target. I'm here now on my way to Ari's and I'm here to get grandma underwear because I didn't bring, bring any for getting them on my period. I'm not sleeping with a tampon in. Just need a pair of granny batters. This is fine. I want this robe. I don't need it. Yeah. Okay, just got out of Target. Ari actually met me here because she needed to get something from the store too. And I'm just gonna follow her back to the house. All right, guys, so I'm out here and we're gonna start getting ready. We're gonna get ready together. It already feels really late. It's, uh, it's 9.54, so this is like average time to go or start getting ready. I'm gonna start with my makeup and then however I feel about the makeup will kind of determine what I end up wearing. I brought a couple different options. I really wanted to be more on the casual side tonight, but we'll see. Anything's gonna be a little more than casual because I brought, um, I'm wearing little heels. I'm gonna prime my face. I'm probably gonna stack one more lash on my outer corners to make them like super dramatic. I keep getting canker sores, bro, and I've never had one on the top of gum, but I do now and it hurts so bad.
All right, you guys, makeup is done. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Brought a couple outfit options. I'll show you guys. I got my little heels. These are the shoes I'm wearing. Heels this size I could be in, honestly. It don't bother me. I learned my lesson with the heels, what I can handle and what I can't. Oh my gosh. We've tried it all. I've walked barefoot in the street because I simply couldn't tolerate. Okay, so I have this like brown cropped tank top I actually cropped it more so it sits higher up so i have this i have this skirt this is actually from urban outfitters it's not as a low rise as i would like it to be but it's still i mean it's cute i have this cargo looking skirt as well i have this black cropped shirt or we have this cheetah print dress i kind of do want to wear this but i also want to do the more casual route so i don't look like i'm doing too much stuff I'm gonna ask for opinion. Okay, we decided on this black top and this cargo skirt. I agree, I'm just gonna try it on to make sure I like it, to make sure it looks how it does in my head. Okay, this is the outfit we ended up going with. I'm gonna wear my little baby heels. We're ready! <laughs> You said what? I said still works. You got two cheeseburger. Oh, just one. One cheeseburger? Like a cheeseburger meal? I don't know what it would be called. Can I get a cheeseburger meal? I'm not even gonna like drink that much of it. I'll just get, I need water. Okay, can That's I get, okay. actually, oh, Ugh, no, like high C or something. Can I get a um, fruit punch, light ice? Yeah. Can I get a McChicken, add bacon and Big Mac sauce? Big Mac sauce and barbecue sauce on the side. Did I Let me check. No, 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 I he did that. This shit looks a fucking mess, they didn't need. That's mine. <laughs> it still looks a mess. <laughs> it does, but it's good. You put a medium fry in I'll still get you back. Okay, thank you. It just looked like it already fell apart. This fry is yours. And then the other cheeseburger. Oh, this is a fun. This came to sell. Cake pumpkin. Cake pumpkin. I've had better fries, but whatever. Watch her ads, everyone. 
get it on iMovie. Hi guys, um, right now it's 12.42, um, I woke up at 11, there was no way I was setting an alarm, didn't go to bed till like 4.30, and I woke up feeling like I was still spinning, I didn't feel the best, not the worst, but not the best, um, but I had so much fun, we both did, and um, yeah, it was a really good experience, I'd never been out in, I think that was downtown Fort Lauderdale before, and it was a good time. I still want to go to the beach here. I've still also yet to go to Fort Lauderdale Beach, but that can be a plan for another day. Honestly, I would love to go to the beach, but I shouldn't today because I feel like the last thing I should do after being dehydrated from alcohol is sitting out in the sun. Took Tylenol and also um, Ari gave me milk tissel this morning, which is a supplement. I was gonna fix my lashes. Yeah, I took off my makeup. I was on my phone for a little bit and I just, I dropped it for a second thing. I was just gonna rest for a second. I just knocked it off. But I'm gonna just do a few things to get ready. And then I'm probably gonna head out. I have to go ship a package out that this girl bought off of my Poshmark yesterday. And just wherever the day takes us. I do need to edit still though. I do. I talk crazy about people that sleep on their back. Um, just because in general, I don't think it's possible to have a good night's sleep on your back. Like, are you okay? And also, just to add to it, um, it's not like the most common position for sleep paralysis. But I woke up this morning and Ari told me, like, before I had officially woken up, I was literally sleeping like this. What? That's how men sleep. I don't, I can't believe I was sleeping like that. I'm such a hypocrite. I brought my whole LaRoche Jose moisturizer. Yeah, I just used my cellar water to take my makeup off last night, but I didn't wash my face. So.
just woke up it's early i feel like you can simply tell it's early with the way the lighting is in the room you can tell the sun hasn't fully risen it's 8 a.m and i just got on my laptop because i was so close to finishing this video last night but i wasn't gonna let myself like i was so tired so i just told myself i was gonna go to bed last night this morning technically but i'd have to wake up early to finish this because i want to upload it today uh, i'm so close <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now and I finished editing my video. So that's how I started my morning. It's 10 a.m. now, so it took two hours to finish up the end, but we're good to go now. I'm just watching over it before I get ready to export it. I'll probably just have it exporting while I go work out. By the time I come back, we can get it uploaded. The longest thing is typically just processing. But yeah, I'm gonna watch over this, make my coffee, make some breakfast. Y'all know the drill at this point. I am currently in the bathroom. I finished eating. I watched through my entire video. It was half an hour long. So it was like the perfect amount of time for me to just eat, get ready for the gym. And now it's exporting. The project was taking up almost two terabytes of storage in itself. My hard drive is two terabytes. It was taking up 1.8. So there's basically a way to consolidate the media. So it only takes up, now it's taking up 65 gigabytes, which is still a lot, but I just had to watch a few videos because I kind of forgot how to do it. So yeah, now it's actually exporting and we're going to go work out. I haven't um, been to the gym since, have I even been since Texas? Oh yeah, I did like once. But then I haven't been since and I genuinely just feel like there's a part of me missing if I don't go to the gym. I feel so good once I go and it honestly, it doesn't even have much, of course it has some to do with my physical appearance, but mostly it's just the way it makes me feel. I feel so accomplished and you just feel so good when you go. Yeah, but I'm not the type of person, personally, if I'm on vacation, I'm not gonna break my back to get like a day membership to go to the gym. When you've been working out for so long and building up your results and your muscle for years, it's not just gonna go away in a couple weeks. So I try to remind myself of that. Mini limb roller, but yeah. I'm just super excited to go. I genuinely can't wait. And it's like the time where I can just really listen to my music, not socialize and just do my thing. Put on a necklace, I feel so naked.
so I'm back home now. Came back to my video, exported, and I'm uploading it. Well, it's actually uploaded, it's just processing now. I have the oven, it's actually preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and put some salmon in here that I've been making recently because it's so easy and so good. <laughs> oh, it's not finished falling out yet. Alright you guys, good afternoon. It is now the next day. It's 4 p.m. actually already. I don't do good whenever time feel like I feel like I the entirety of the day. But honestly, the only reason I feel that way is because this video's due tomorrow at 1 p.m. and I'm not even done filming it. But I know I got it. I think that's just the main thing that's kind of I have such I realize that the motherly instincts just kick in whenever I see kids without like where is your mom? That's like my first thought. It's fine though, that's just something, I mean, I know I'm gonna get it done and my goal isn't to like put the stress on tea or anything. Yeah, I'm currently here at Whole Foods because I'm gonna do an Amazon return. Amazon makes it so easy to return things. I've never been so quick to return something that I don't genuinely love. So I'm gonna go run in here real quick and then we're gonna eat because I've only had breakfast. I did have a late breakfast, but I'm still, it's getting around that time where if I don't eat, we're not getting anything done. on the phone with my mom. My food of choice is Pollo Taco. I've been here plenty of times. It was right down the street from Whole Foods, so this is where I decided to eat. I got two chicken tacos, although I could definitely inhale four tacos, no question. This is just gonna, you know, kind of tie us over until I make dinner later. Typically, if I'm gonna at least make two meals at home, I will gladly get my third because there's no way I'm cooking three meals in a row. Like, does anybody... But yeah, I just got chicken tacos with or um, oranges. I got chicken tacos with tomato, onion, basically like pico on top with cheese and cilantro. Someone's playing an 88 Glam song and I just need to know who's playlist. things are clean. Okay, so I'm in the car now and there was some ingredients I wanted to pick up in order to cook dinner tonight And I don't know why I didn't well I do know why I didn't just go to Whole Foods That's not typically my my everyday type of grocery store But I am gonna go ahead and go because it's only a few things I know I'm gonna get high quality options there and there's just one thing I think they're not gonna have because they typically don't have your average name brand things It's the same with Trader Joe's like you, you can get some things there the fun play groceries But then to get actual staples sometimes it's better to go to like a Publix or a store like that but but yeah, this place was only two minutes away, so we're gonna take our ass right back to Whole Foods. I need chapstick, and the purse that I transferred to for today does not have anything like at all. And I always have something on my lips. It's okay, I'm not gonna be out long, considering there's a literal hurricane coming. Um, I wouldn't recommend what I'm doing. They got so close. It just looks so close. I know people know their cars, but mm, that's still questionable. Alright, they have protein pasta here, but it's um, the Bonza version, which is like disgusting. So I'm not going to get the pasta here. I don't know where any, like I really don't know where anything is in the store, but I need Parmesan. Just need whole milk. I don't really need whole milk. Yeah, I don't want almond milk and pasta. Actually, I'm going to get goat milk because... It also tastes good, but my cats love it too, so I can, because I'm not gonna drink the rest of it. Two in one, not gonna go to waste. So we've got cottage cheese. Okay, 
I need vanilla Greek yogurt. Grocery shopping, just. Can I call you on Instagram? Yes. A lot of baklava. Yes, sir. Definitely not. What's your nationality? American. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello
This looks fantastic. I put extra Parmesan on the top like she did. The chicken thighs, because I use chicken thighs, they shrunk so much. So I'm making another one, but I have a whole bag and I didn't even know what I was gonna do with them. So that's perfect actually. I could make this all week if I wanted to. That was amazing. This is like definition of comfort food on a gloomy day. It's so good. Honestly, I prefer how this tastes over regular Alfredo sauce for me personally, because that's typically not my favorite. And this has hella protein in it. Mm-hmm. It is almost 11 p.m. and I I'm showered, did my whole night routine. I'm gonna go ahead and get in bed and edit this very video that you guys are watching. So with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. When you're watching this, just know that this was pretty much edited in a span of hours. I love you all so much. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.